we are going live stream yes sir <clears throat> let's get it hey we are back we are back man i hope y'all enjoyed y'all super bowl sunday because uh you know we took last week off but we are here because you know it's super bowl sunday i mean we ain't gonna Gordon, y'all ain't gonna watch the shit while we doing it. So anyway, we are here now. Let's do this shit. It's your favorite podcast right here. It is the Toxic and Fertile Podcast. Just your boy right here, Scooter Blue Maxwell for the 901 Memphis, Tennessee. Y'all already know who it is. Orange Mountain representing Eastman Vet in this bitch. <laughs> y'all already know who it is. Your boy, Mr. Simple Math over here. And uh, yeah, we back a whole nother week. We had to take that week off. We know everybody was doing their Super Bowl thing, but more importantly, probably, you know, they was doing their heart day, B day stuff, Valentine's, mm-hmm. and getting prepared for all of that good stuff, weekends and Mondays <laughs> off, and, you know, all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, we here now, though. And uh, we got a good show for you. But you know, look, as you can see on the screen, we do have a special guest. Yeah, let's clap it up, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We got Miss Joya here. Different. We got Miss Joya here. She is she is uh, 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 ready for all the smoke. Miss Joya, go ahead and introduce yourself <laughs> and what you got going before we jump in here. Hey, everybody. I am Joya from the 901 and the 504, now in the 404. So it feels really good to be here in this space tonight. You know, I'm here representing my ladies as I always do. I promise y'all I'm going to keep them straight for y'all. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. <laughs> Good luck yeah. with that. Good luck yeah. with that. <laughs> yes, y'all know how it is with us, man. Uh, you know, we come with the smoke, and then, you know, we get set straight sometimes. Sometimes they agree with us because we telling the real uh, truth. We'll see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Listen, uh, London, you want to jump in these topics, man? You want to start this shit off? Oh, man. Okay, what we got? What we got? What we got? Uh, let me see. I got. I had them written down, and let me look. Uh, here we go. Yeah, so first things... First, let me see which one do we want to jump into. Fizzers, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they, they all a little toxic, uh, so they, they, all all? Toxic. <laughs> <laughs> they all a little toxic. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta see which one I want to go into first, my boy. Just the any mini mighty mo. They all toxic. Any mini mighty mo. Alright, so I, I, I like that. I like that uh, that topic about love. So you know what I mean. Everybody want to get into that one. So honestly, let's get into that love topic since Valentine's Day just passed. Yeah, and we yep. missed it because we weren't on last uh-huh. Sunday. So that's kind of was you know it's kind of current. Uh, so uh, the first thing, topic is gonna be is what does love mean to you? So you, you, and you. You know what I mean, myself included, right? But also, what is the difference between love and in love? Because they put that in quotation marks, right? Because there is different. We all think I think we all think we know, but some people have different definitions, and some people sometimes don't even have a different definition. So you know what I mean. I want to see what you think, and uh, of course, Joey, speaking up for the ladies, we always allow our kids to go first. So please tell us what you think the definition of love is in your mind, in your opinion, and also what's the mm-hmm. difference with between love, the you know the the verb so to speak, and in love, you know that irrational kind of you know feeling. What you got? Wow. I mean, that's a broad, that's a deep one. You know, we yeah. just off from what I believe is a very superficial capitalism way to celebrate love. And that is February 14th. No shade for those who had <laughs> matching pajamas that <laughs> for Christmas and put up your pictures and your perfume and your Birkin bags and all of that. No offense to all of that. But I just believe love is someone that you can do life with. Love is someone who fits organically and naturally into your life. Um, That is someone who you can count on, you can depend on. Someone who sees you at your worst and won't Mm. leave. Mm. Okay, okay. That's super important. Like You can have love for a lot of different people. So I'm kind of moving into the definition of being in love. Being okay. in love is somebody that you can really like do life with. In love has nothing to do with like, if somebody got money, if somebody don't have money. I was thinking about that. Somebody asked me this question last week. And I said, for me to be in love with somebody would be somebody I can literally sit at home with and eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and watch Netflix. Like we don't have to be on the yacht. Now we can be on the yacht. <laughs> but I feel it. I really have to like be able to do some of that stuff with you, and you really have to show and prove that you're my person, mm-hmm. that okay. you rock uh, me, not, not just the allure of me. Because you know my Instagram, like, you know, my Instagram popping and stuff. You it know? be popping. <laughs> I follow you. 
It be since that time be popping. Okay. I'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. I want I want that's not like a fan. I send some hard eyes here once in a while. <laughs> someone who's not a, someone who really like can rock with like the real Joya. Well, well, okay. when you want somebody to be a fan of you, you know what I'm saying? I want somebody that I'm in love with to be a fan of me. You know what I'm saying? The, the love, like, oh shit, you got that shit on today? All right, cool. Uh, damn, man, you into that type of shit? Okay, cool. Like, that, that type of shit for me, I, I love that type of shit. Like, you are a <laughs> fan of me. You support me in that type of shit. Think about the people that you are truly a fan on, fan of. Like, you support whatever they do. You support they if, they if there's an artist that you like, you support their music. You go to their concerts. So the same thing when I'm in love. I want a fan. I want somebody that, that fan girl out over a nigga. You know what I'm saying? No, uh, I mean, uh, we, we got the concept of a fan. Like, a fan loves you for what you do. Like, Beyonce fans love her because she can sing, she can dance, she's an entertainer. They don't love her for the core of who she is. Like, I got a lot of fans. Like, I don't need that. I don't need no more. <laughs> Ooh, she got a lot of fans. I need, you hear me? I need I need a friend, not a fan. I need All my right. fan five. Like, I don't even have no fan five. It's like, my, my, I don't have a circle. I have a triangle now. Like, uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Triangle. She said she don't got no circle. She got a triangle. You hear me? I ain't never heard it, it though. It, it's like, I ain't never heard it, it though. It grows smaller every year. I, I ain't never heard it though. All right, so I guess I'm jumping in here. So me, I think it's more simplistic than what we giving it. Um, I think love is literally a verb and not a feeling. I think love is choice. So really, I believe Lord, love is really just choosing. And I think it's the lower level of things in this, put it, I put it this way. Um, hold on, hold on for a second. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I think love is a choice. I think it is choosing over and over and over again over the alternative, right? So that's why you can love potato chips. You're just choosing that brand over the alternative, right? That's why you can love this genre of music. You're just choosing this one, this genre over the other, right? That's why you can love a person. That's why you can love most people at the same time, because you can choose multiple people at the same time over the alternatives, right? And then you got in love, right? In my opinion, in love is rational. You can't control it. You don't choose who you in love with for the most part. You can't just fall, right? You know what I mean? You just kind of out of nowhere. It hits you, smack you. Think you know it come out of nowhere, you know what I mean? Things like that, but it's irrational. It's not. It don't have a lot of logic to it. It don't got a lot of uh, um, reasoning for it, except that it's just this feeling, you know. Because that's why I always it's hard to explain it most of the time, right? So it ain't. It's, it's more, you know. What I mean, the bubblies and the and the that that freeing along with that foundation, along with that, it's really the potential that you fall in love with most of the time, anyway, right? So it's just very irrational. It's, you can put it here. You can put it here sometimes, and then you got something else to come up. You might put it here. Something else to come up. You might put it there. Things like that. So like that. So those are my different. Those are the differences between the two. So I think love is an action, which is a wanna, choice. Choose. It. I want to dive into something that you said and all of that. You said. Go ahead, bro. Fall in love with the potential. Yeah. What do you, what do you mean by that? Fall in love in the potential. Ooh. All right. So I put I use this scenario exactly, bro. When you go to so the NBA, we're gonna use sports. So hopefully Joy is a sports fan. I'm not sure if she is. You're gonna hopefully, catch her real quick. All right, so we're gonna catch her real quick, real quick with you. All right. So just like the NBA draft, right? We took we see it every year. And we have these prospects and they come out of college, high school, uh, wherever, the D League, overseas, whatever the case may be. And every year we're puzzled as to why they pick this person, right? Mm -hmm. And it's because they 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 pick that person, the NBA scouts, the, the analysts, the, the coaches, the staff, they pick them based off potential, right? Mm. That's what we do, be. what they gonna, what they expect them to become. Mm. Yeah. That's what we fall in love with. But that's yeah. what a lot of people like, fuck up at, though. They do. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. And that's also yeah. why it's in lust and not in love, in my opinion. But this is what actually, this is the real versus what act realistic, you know, version of it versus what people want to be happening and want to be. Or so I think you fall in love or when you're in love, because in love is a gradual thing, right? People think right. they're in love after three weeks, month. I don't think there's no such thing. In love. But, anyway. but, you might love a person. So many different Go things. Ahead. People love is so subjective. Like it's people that will love you on January first. Y'all kiss when the New Year drop, and then by June the first, like you can't stand this motherfucker. Like you blocking them. <laughs> like, it's so subjective. So I do agree with you. It is a choice. You have to choose that person every day. Hell, in relationships, in marriage, 
you got to wake up and choose somebody every day. I had a friend who he said his wife woke up one day and was like, I don't want to be married to you anymore. And that was real. It wasn't nothing he did. Like he didn't cheat. He didn't do anything. She literally woke up and was like, I feel like I'm trapped. I don't want to be married anymore. So I do agree with you that love is a choice. But I also say love is so damn subjective. Like yeah. it depends on a person, the situation, how you feel, because it's so emotional. It's such a, it's an emotional thing. It, love is not really logical when you think about at it. All. Oh, at you all. ever thought about that? No, definitely thought about that. It's not logical at all. You know, like you were just saying, people love people for different reasons. Fall in love with people for different reasons. That's why... I don't really judge the people that like fall in love with the millionaire, right? Then then even though they haven't met him, because that might be their love language. You know what I'm saying? It goes back to an episode that we talked about love languages and shit. So the love language, one of my homegirls, she she says it's all times funny as fuck. She's like, my love language is money. But when she breaks it down to me, I'm like, your love language is gifts. That's what it is. You like gifts. That's you that speaks to you. That, that's how you like to be appreciated when somebody gets you gifts and everything. Yeah. And it's not necessarily that the person has the money, but they got the means to give you gifts. That's more than what it is and shit like that. As opposed to somebody else, they might fall in love with somebody because they can do some shit for them that they can't do. Like I can't right. the chick might be like, I can't reach that top chef up there and you can do it. I love you for that because you can reach yeah. it. That's why some women prefer taller men. And shit, <laughs> like, so he can do shit that I can't fucking do, <laughs> yeah. and everything. So far, that's ass. part of like people <laughs> in love. But for me, I agree with both of y'all when it comes to love and in love. <laughs> it's the truth. But I agree with y'all when it comes to being like in love with somebody, and then I got love with them. So because, like you were saying, Joy, people fall out of love all the time, but they still got love for that person. So love yeah. to me would be uh, more of the uh, I care for you. It's more of the caring mm-hmm. thing. Like, yeah, I can care for you more than I care about Joe Smo walking down the street because I have that connection with you. I care about how you feel. I care to see you grow and shit like that. Like, you could love a bunch of people. That's why all right. the time. But in love, more is, is more of that personal connection of how that mm-hmm. person uh, fulfills you in a way. That's how I feel. Like, what in so, love? I'm going to throw a little twist to y'all, man. Do you think you can be? In love with more than one person at the same time. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Dang. I Dang, like Joy already. Yes. Dang. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead, Joy. Please expound about that. I don't know if this is popular. Ladies, please don't crucify me if it's anywhere. <laughs> you know when you look at this new wave of dating of being married of having relationships and i'm not promoting any of it. it's monogamy over here if y'all trying to get at me like i'm the only one you know i told you i'm from new orleans like won't play that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i definitely believe that you can be in love with multiple people because of the very definitions that we've all named here um love is a choice love is not logical it's emotional um you look at different people who are in polygamous relationships or in open relationships sometimes they they fall in love with two people and just think about like when we was in middle school (laughs) middle school sometimes high school I hope you stayed in middle school but we had so many people that we said we were like in love with or infatuated with or wanted to be with you know a lot of this shit don't go away like some of this way like as an adult like again i agree london is a choice by the way it's a choice Susan, like, you feel day, me? like you yep. can go somewhere you might be like vibing with somebody like you don't even plan to vibe with them you at a bar you vibing with them but you got an old lady you got an old man at home you like damn i'm vibing with them i want their number but i choose not to do that some people don't choose not to do that they choose to explore those connections so i definitely mm-hmm. believe that um you can be in love with most people and people who say that you can't like they lie they, they lie, lie. Like <laughs> they lie like hell we, oh, you, we have multiple connections so I'll, I'll be devil's advocate here i do believe also that you can be in love with more than one person at the same time what i will say is for the people who don't feel that way i wouldn't necessarily say that they're lying because People conform and also block out a lot of other things. It's a choice. Um, it's a, agreed. But I also think as far as like, so they, the, well, what it is, is they choose. So they're choosing their love, right? So when they fall in love with someone else, they literally block out everything else, right? So women do this probably way more than me for the right. most part. Or, I, you know, 
Yeah, and don't get me wrong, you got plenty of men who do it as well, but I'm just saying, for, oh, if we had a numbers game, it'll be probably more women, right? They will lie to themselves when they love a motherfucker, when they in love with a motherfucker, right? Man, he doing this, he doing this, but girl, he do this, this, this too, and this, 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 whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? So like scenarios being where, you know what I mean? I've, I've, I've said it on the show before, I've never been faithful in a relationship, and uh, it's one of my thoughts, right? London. Don't judge me. We don't judge on this show. But uh, like, like, oh, oh my god! Like, I was thinking about talking to you after the show. Like, <laughs> kill yourself. Look, hey, hey, I'm gonna keep, honesty is the best, uh, best, best policy. Yes, best sir. policy. You feel me? So, like, I'm not saying I never will be. I just never have in the past. You feel me? I'm mature and I'm growing. We never know. But uh, yeah. So, like, you know what I'm saying? But I know for a fact that I've been in situations and I've seen situations where mothers are lying to they self as far as like what they oh. saying is going on what's happening and it just ain't the case you can be truthful you can be honest you can be even blamed you can admit what you're wrong about you can admit that you cheated whatever the case may be and they right. will lie to themselves like i'm gonna get over it i can get past it or they get their lick back whatever the case may be you know what i'm saying but it still eat them up because you know what i mean like you said it's that in love thing that you choosing you to do. just ignore all the red flags we've had an episode about that all the toxicity we've had episodes about that all these things that you know in your heart are really out like where you say uh, do the pros outweigh the cons or do the cons outweigh the pros a lot of people in these relationships where the cons clearly outweigh the pros and yeah. they still they still talking it up you know what i'm saying and I think yeah. that's where that in love thing happens, where it's like, shit, do I want to build this with somebody else? Do I want to take this time out and do this with somebody else? Do I want to make, you know, put these foundational pieces with somebody else, put this time in and these um this getting to know you stages or whatever the case may be. I don't know if people still ask, what's your favorite color shit? Uh this stage and shit. That's, <laughs> you know? Like I want you to know my favorite color. You don't know me until you know my favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I, I could care less, you know what I'm saying? But also, if you like it, I love it. Here you go. If we date, especially, you know what I'm saying? So I get it. But uh, yeah, so like, but yeah, so I, like I said, I once again agree that you can be in love with two people at the same time. But I also think the people who don't feel that way can, you know what I'm saying? They can, they can actually, you know, support their argument and why they feel that way. You know right, right. No, I, I definitely believe you can love two people. You definitely could be in love with two people. 100 mm -hmm. percent and it just piggyback on what you both said like it's because of, once again it's a choice or whatever it's because of what the, somebody's doing for you and everything that's why once again i don't judge motherfuckers who have that side piece and they treat the side piece like like the one you know what i'm saying because like damn, i really mm -hmm. fucks with this person we have a connection this shit is dope or whatever, and they touching something that number one probably ain't doing, but at the same time, that's why you're not number one because you ain't doing exactly <laughs> what number one is doing. Oh <laughs> number God. one, number one, I can have the conversations about finance and, and I can have conversations about finances and shit, or politically what's happening in the world, and it feeds my soul and shit, and we can sit down and chill. But with number two, I can go to sporting events. We had a time of our fucking life, but I can't do that one. One, don't fuck with sports like that. So I, I'm not saying that. That's all the, the reason why niggas cheat. I'm just saying I understand why it happens and shit like that. Uh -huh. That other why person that I'm in love like, with. Why the, why the cap? Like, why you gotta lie to Ooh. Ooh. That's okay. side chick stuff. Like, that's lying. Like, motherfucker, be honest. Like, be oh, honest. Hold on, hold on. What you mean? Like, if, what, exactly what you mean. Right, like, we were talking about cheating, right? Like, we were talking yeah. about number one number three number, like cut all that out like if you the man like if you feel like you got several different connections like be honest like you said london like tell them like look i'm at a point in my life where i have several different connections with people and i can't be monogamous with you right now it's not about like that's where like your tires get slashed and well, you I'm gonna but I'm gonna tell you something real, real right now. So I, I, I'm all for honesty i ain't gonna bullshit if, if, if we ain't if, i don't even do situationships it's I ain't in no relationship. You can take it or leave it, whatever the case might be. You can get this part of me that you get when we're together. And when we're not, somebody else might be getting it. You know, you never know. Hey, uh, you know, don't ask questions that you don't want the answer to. Because if you ask, I'm going to tell mm. you, what, you know, what yep. it is. You feel me? So, yep. like, that, I'm, I'm all about that policy. And some women claim that they want to know the truth. But they really just want to know. They really, a lot of women be nosy, first and foremost. Like, it, it's, it's, for, it's for ammunition. 
they use it against you. So that's why that's why a lot of men lie or a lot of people lie to be real because they're scared of the the truth being used against them or them being honest being used against them. So I think a lot of people lie, and that's men and women for that reason. And back to the side chick thing, most of the time the side chick getting the honesty anyway. She knows yes. about the mind. You feel me? So yep. only one person getting lied to in those situations. I'm above being now because I'm single, single. So like I'm above all of that. I don't have to worry about any of that shit. But uh, <laughs> but I've been there. I've had side chicks. I've, you know what I'm saying? I've done the whole. I've done the whole thing. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. don't do that. You need to stop, stop making them faces, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you do not that, agree that, with that this lead, shit. That lead us to our next topic, though. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, it's it's a it's a caveat, but it's a it's a good little you know segue into the next topic of <laughs> why do why do side I why do women with side men because let's not just act like it's just side chicks it's side men out here too I'm very I've been very one proud to say that I was a very great side man I'm, I was I, a great side dude I, I was, I was amazing Whew. I was you know put what I mean? me in the Hall of Fame of side dudes <laughs> my jersey is right there to this day me and her don't even speak. <laughs> I don't even speak on it. With with that being said, this next topic is about you know what I mean. Like we're gonna we're gonna do it both ways because we have a, a lady in the, uh, on the show today. So why do people who have side pieces treat the side piece better? Because in the case that I just talked about, men are usually more honest with their side one. You know what I'm talking about? They usually get all the real. Um, you usually do a few more little things. To, with them a lot of the time and the reason for that is because you got to try to keep them on board with being the side one you know what i'm talking about they might get tricked off on just a little bit more they might get they you know what i'm saying they might get their salad tossed just a little bit more. you know what i'm talking about like it's just things that has to happen you know what i'm talking about for you to secure and keep that side <laughs> on your team you feel really? me <laughs> so are you, are, you done? Done? are you done are you are you done i ain't finished so excellent. fast <laughs> So I ain't, fin- I ain't finished. So the, the topic is, why do we treat our side pieces almost better than the main in in a certain in a sense? So like with women, I say specifically, right? Um, and you can attest to this if you if you ever had a side man. I'm not gonna put that on you. Um, why do the side nigga, nigga get the more freakier version? Because we know why the man, we just said, do y'all do the same thing? So I'll exit in that format. Do y'all do the same thing? Because me, and I know I'd have been freakier, a little bit more money than went to the side chick, all this stuff, but it's kind of because they're, they're the side chick, so they, you're trying to do more to keep them on board with being the side woman, right? So, you know, is that the same for if you've ever had a side man? And if you haven't, what do you think? <laughs> London, are you yes. finished? Done, like, really? You went around the block. For, for the time being, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it to you. <laughs> I, I'm gonna keep it I'm all the way. I just, I just, I'm just joking with you, y'all. Y'all know, make, sure, uh, make sure I'm, I'm showing up correctly because I'm, my screen keep freezing on my end. But I haven't seen it, so yeah. Me personally, listening audience, unlike London, I have never cheated in a relationship. So I've never cheated in a relationship. I've never had a side piece or anything like that. But the times that I was single, you know, like ladies, when you're single, you had like that roster. Like you had, this is, this, is, this is the guy that I can take like to galas and to holidays and bring around my friends. And then you had that guy who's usually a cute that you talk to. And- <laughs> <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> that, that, you know. Don't do us like that. <laughs> You don't even know what she is. I what know, it is like, yeah, hold on. You know I love the Qs and the Qs love the Ks too. So that's that's forever gonna be a little a little connection right there. But yeah, like for me and we have a mutual friend. You know, Scooter, we have a mutual friend right. there. Put up a status and he talked about you know a girl will be freaky and she'll mm-hmm. do all kinds of things mm-hmm. with a guy she don't see a relationship with, but the guy she see a relationship with she'll hold out. You know, she would try to be Miss Perfect, be an angel. And I'm like, yes, we do that. Like, a lot of women do that. Like, I would never treat somebody, I guess, the role of a side better than somebody I would consider to be my oh. man. I would never do no. that. No. 
That is I'm, so. The thing about it is, like, if I don't see oh a relationship God. with you, and I'm kind of telling my business, like, yeah, it's no. gonna be my pleasure. It's gonna be for no. my pleasure. No, like, no, 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 ooh, I'm no, a, I miss, no. I miss some juicy, huh? My bad. I had to step away real quick. <laughs> I miss some kind of juicy. It's gonna be for your pleasure. Did I miss uh, yeah, let me, like if, let me if, use if context you clothes. if you a quote unquote side, I'm using you. I hate that. That's so mean. Like I hate to say it like that. I'm using you for what you can do for me. So if oh, you that, do, I understand it. I, I get that. Yeah. that do that little thing good like do it and then have a nice day like so oh, i can well, spend, no. so I can oh, spend the rest of my day with the main guy the guy i'm thinking about being in a relationship with so for me personally i can't see why y'all do it it's, it's a little whack to me it's like that 80 20 thing like i would never treat a side better than somebody i would consider to be seen with me in public no, like, so it's <laughs> not a no it's not like an all the time thing so don't get me wrong i'm just talking about like you see it's definitely something that's being done i think I think we lost them. Maybe gonna come back in, but I don't think it's an all the time thing. I definitely think it's something that you do though in spurts, in sporadic. You know what I'm saying? Intermittently, because you, you know what I'm saying? When you do something, and also usually with a side chick, or you know what I'm saying, with somebody that ain't your main, your main, it ain't got, it ain't got played out. You know what I'm saying? Especially how many years y'all got in, you might be doing spinning the block on stuff that you did when you first got with your main joint. You know what I'm talking about? So like. <laughs> Y'all ain't been in a relationship with me. I think this was it. <laughs> <laughs> so you say, but a lot of women say I, I these would, things. I'm just saying. I do better than, than my man. My man get everything. Like, he get it, everything. It sounds good. So you ain't never became complacent? In a relationship? No. Correct. I'm always, I'm always the fun one. I'm always the one that they got to keep up with. Like, I'm always kind of like mm. that. But that's my personality. So everybody okay. knows. <laughs> okay, okay, and I understood, and I can't say yeah, your name, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'll take your word at, at value for sure. But, but what <laughs> I I'm feel saying, like that's a loaded compliment. You like, okay, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm, no, not at all. Okay. no, no, not at all, not at all. I'm being genuine, <laughs> I promise. But what I will say is, you if you if you are that way, you never become complacent, you always keep the same energy, you always keep it on that level, you are a unicorn because that's just part of it. Men and women, in my opinion, and studies even show once the years go by. The, the the libido goes down you know what i'm saying <clears throat> whether it be for y'all whether it be i think it's for y'all because women hit our peak i think around like 40 like i can't <laughs> wait like my 40s like i can't wait to be clapping well, these 40 year old <laughs> men like y'all can't keep up can you Got but you. that's the but not even just the libido not even just on the sexual too just in the relationship as a whole like being that being happy all the time right it don't happen you know what i mean like you oh. got that point you got the roller coasters, you got the up and downs, you know what I mean? And even though it's fun, mom, and so what happens. But what also happens is your tricks as a man, especially your tricks, or even as a woman, your tricks don't work the same way they work when you're first year one, year two. You know what I mean? Like that little thing you used to do. It don't work the same. But we was talking about tricking though, and I'd be damned if I'm buying a side nigga some joins and buying my main nigga with some kids or something like no, I, I would, not, like, not in I would, that way. way. Talking about no, no, not in that way. So, no, not in that way. What I mean by like, so the honesty thing is the biggest part of it, right? Like, you lying at home and then you going out and you definitely telling your side the truth because I mean, you need to keep her as you know, keep it as honest as possible with her <laughs> to make sure that she keep you know, what I'm saying, keep her, keep her position, you know, or go for the, go to the high road. Can I push it a little bit? Go ahead. What's the benefit for having a man? If you looking for sides, like what's no, what's her not, what's her benefit? What's her position? Nah, so all right, so that's a good question. So it, it, you like and, I, gotta, I gotta keep on having gotta for what? If she ain't doing nothing, you want to do? If nah, she, that's not the that's only not thing. The, she know your mama now. That's it. No, that's never the case. So you're thinking about it all wrong. So when you got a main woman, that main woman is actually who has your heart. When you have a side, they don't have your heart. You know what I'm talking about? So the main is the one that you're doing, but a lot of the time what happens is in a main in a relationship is compromise happens, right? That's usually what you should be doing in a relationship, right? But most of the time, though, women want it their way. I don't give a fuck nobody say. Women want it their way way more than the man gets it his way. Point blank period. That's, why that's where the term happy wife, happy life comes from. So with that, exactly. You see how your face is turned up? With that being said, though, and with that being said, that's why that that's where that term comes from. Happy wife, happy life. The man is yeah. suffering in a lot of those situations. Oh. He's not able to go. 
I'm not. I'm just keeping it. I'm just. I'm just keeping it one, and I don't mean it in a literal sense. But what I'm telling you is, is a man. Uh, first and foremost, like I done talked about it on the show before. If you watched our episodes or not, when when a man want to go out and sit sit out and chill, and he like ass, right? When he get in a relationship, he want to be respectful. So a lot of them ain't gonna ask. I'm personally gonna ask you. Like, all right, if I see a fat ass, can I say something to you about it? And we look at it together. You feel me? I, mean, I prefer. Uh, she got a big ass. Correct, but mo- a lot of women ain't like that. I ain't gonna say most, or not, you know, I don't know the numbers, but a lot of women are not like that from experience. You feel me? So, like, therefore, y'all unicorn on to y'all platform because I be like, oh, no, no, we didn't have women that feel the same way that you do. But what I'm saying is, though, in a majority sense, though, like you have, that has to be at least communicated, or that at least has to be talked about, or at least has to be a res- in a respectful manner, right? So look, right. Man, I'm just, and I'm just using a specific example, but let's just talk about like women that don't swallow. She the mm-hmm. side bitch is doing all of it. Women that don't eat ass. And more power to side, side chick is doing all of it. You know, so like, you get know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. So you it make it seem like you not you don't do it. You know what I mean? So like, there you go. You just said, what's the benefit? Boom, there you go. I just told you two things that you might not do <laughs> that a side chick is gonna be. You feel me? So like, the, but the main woman is also there for every. She she encompasses everything, right? Besides the shit that she want to do, the eighty twenty, like you talked about. So that eighty percent is what she encompasses. My love, my heart, my the, maybe the mother of my kids, or whatever the case may be. Maybe she, maybe my wife, whatever the case may be. But like she encompasses so much. She takes care of a uh, home. She's the nurturer. She she's my business partner. She this 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 and that. The side really just gives me that thrill and adrenaline that I was missing that we had year one, year two. That you just you know what I'm saying. Kids come around, life happens, the everyday struggles, whatever the case may be. Just saying, that's, that's how yeah, it should be going. Listen, I'm taking it. <laughs> come on in here, you, you back with us, bro. Objective as possible. I'm taking it <laughs> in. Yeah, I'm having te- technical difficulties. Oh, good, bro. I held it down. I was giving Joy that work, but uh. Nah. <laughs> Tell the truth. <laughs> she, she asked me a question and I answered. Oh, I'm telling the he, truth. He man. was clean. He was clean. His case. He had A, B, C, D, E, F, G. No. <laughs> and, and look, that's how this show operates. She ain't been here before. She ain't been here before. You feel me? She asked me a yep. question. I, I got it right. I got it. Clean his case. He yes, went sir. into pills and everything. <laughs> But nah, like, I don't know if you heard the question that she asked, bro. She asked, what is the benefit or why is the main woman there at all? Or what's the benefit of side chicks? And I just went into pretty much, you know, a quick summary of how, where no, men... It was a dissertation, though. It was. Yeah, it had, to, it had to be. That's how it started. It's a podcast, most definitely. <laughs> and, and look, you was pretty engaged. That's goddamn too. right. You know what I mean? right, it's a dissertation. <laughs> yeah. I was like... Ooh. You was like, boom, uh-huh. Yeah, and if you completely disagree, that's what the show all about. We do not oh, mind that at all. I yeah. definitely disagree, London, but I mean, yeah. you, you was working though. No. Like, I, if, I, you I, in it, court, <laughs> if you were in the court, and I was like, the juror, I would be like, he working that. He working. He working. <laughs> but I just keep it 100 because I I, I, I I don't speak for all men, but I speak for a lot of people who feel this way that I've talked to personally, that I talk to all yeah. that we talk about this type of shit all the time. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it, it, it's it, you know what I mean. Oh, all right, we ain't got to keep going. You, you got anything right now, bro? Before we go into this next, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or you want to speak about that? Yeah, question, man. What look, look, look. Y'all probably touched it when I was having my my dip, uh, technical difficulties and shit on my end. But uh, the side chick, like uh, y'all probably said, it was we get the more honesty because we're comfortable with them because they allow this place of comfortability. Because what Joy said earlier is about being honest and stuff. So before they even became a side chick, we're probably pretty honest with them. Like, yo, I got a girl. I got a girl. Blah, you know what I'm saying? This situation that we got. And, and they was still wanted to fuck with it. So now it's like, well, shit, I was 100% honest with you. I'm out here. So you fucking with the situation. I'm telling you what it is. And you still want to be down. And we got that connection. Why not see what... Well, I won't say why not, because I get crucified. But I'm going to explore <laughs> this uh, connection right fast. Let's see what this is, since you know exactly what the fuck is going on. That's why we're a little bit more honest with the side chick. I'm telling you exactly what the fuck going on, and I expect you, and this is where we kind of brought this up in the previous uh, 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 podcast, I expect you to play that role then, because I told you exactly what it is and stuff. Now, it probably started you know that way with number one, it probably start. 
Y'all live in fantasy huh? land. For real. Y'all live in fantasy land. Like, oh, what, is that? Not- what is that? End? Like, oh, because the side chicken. Like, what does that end? Like, it is so fantasy. Like, I had a guy today. Tell me you love me. Hey, oh, hey, just because, I don't hey, the just because thing. the tree falls down, just because the tree falls down in the forest and you don't hear it doesn't mean the tree didn't fail. That's all I'm saying. Then say. make a sound. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But what's the fantasy that you bring up, though? I don't get it. No. The it fantasy does not mean. Fantasy. So just because you don't see it happening. The fantasy part of it is, oh, she gives me that thrill. That Like, you 65. Like, what you still looking for a thrill for? Like, it's uh, I'm only 33. No, it's guys that the guys that choose to do this for a lifestyle. Like to me, that's just a fantasy way of living. Y'all don't think that we gotta put up certain things with y'all and we just choose to keep on moving. Ladies, you know what? Starting today, 2 2020, 20, we will no longer be side chicks no more. We are leveling up. We are black. Don't you know? Don't you know it's women who prefer to be side chicks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard that. Why, I've heard you can't degrade those women. These women are saints to this earth. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not degrading. I'm not degrading. I was, I'm joking. I'm joking. But like, I'm just saying. <laughs> Scooter. My boy got the delayed laugh. He said saints. So like, so saints Julia, all I'm here. saying is, it's people that prefer the honesty over the the bullshit to be real to everything else you know what i'm saying so like said the wife is getting the bullshit the wife and the girlfriend are getting the bullshit okay yeah yeah real shit the, ladies from, i want you to hear we gotta uh, change this narrative when, we no, can no, do it when, we can change when, it when there is a side chick is all, as always what i'm saying when there is other women the wife or the girlfriend is usually the one getting lied to like, you know what i'm talking about yeah yeah i mean it's just all the way 100 you know what I mean? I'm gonna be real. Now, don't get me wrong. It's plenty of them that it's plenty of men out here that's lying to all of them. They think they, they you know what I'm saying? Which brings me to my next uh, topic. Yeah. I'm a, and I'm gonna bring it to you first, Scooter, because you ain't been you, been you had the technical difficulties yeah. and stuff. But uh, can there be exclusivity without emotions and feelings? And I'll explain it because situationships, right? That's the new modern day relationship these days. Ain't no title. I don't like titles. We doing what we doing. We fucking raw. We doing what we doing. We we telling each other we you know we like each other a lot. Some people even telling each other they love them. They ain't in relationships. I don't get it, but that's what they doing now. You know what I'm talking about? But uh, so and then also my you know, <laughs> I don't get it either. I don't get it either. I, I'm with you. But. But what also the other part is, is people are being super exclusive. So your dick is my, you know what I'm talking about? Your your penis is mine. It's from a woman. And then my your pussy is mine from a man. And I don't get that either. You, you're in a relationship, in, in my opinion. But they're being exclusive. And then also you having these people that are exclusive that claim they don't have feelings for one another. Can, there, can, can the two coexist? I'm going to bring it to you first, Lou. <sighs> I'm gonna say no. I don't think I don't think that can, can really exist, man. Because it's I can't be exclusive with somebody that I don't I don't love. I don't, I don't <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm I, like if I'm exclusive to you and like I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna pursue a relationship with anybody else or a situation with anybody else. I, I I'm with you at that point. <laughs> You're right. I, I don't know. If, because maybe because like the episode we had, it's the it's the uh-huh. episode that we had about the fuck. I want somebody to say some shit, but I want, and that's a real fuck nigga move, as opposed to what Joy was saying. Earlier, just be honest. And now I'm not in my fuck nigga days. I graduated from that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have left those days behind. I'm just being honest at this point. So now I'm, I'm, I'm honest. So if a situation comes up. And it, I am honest about it. I'm telling you, like, yo, so there's no way I could be exclusive in a situation. Like, I am exclusive. We are in a relationship then at that point. But, you know, I'm not just jumping out the window saying all this type of shit. You know, it's going to be a while. You know, we're going to get to that point and shit. So, no, I, I don't think that can exist in the same space. That's, that's, and if niggas know how to do that shit, man, y'all got to come in and teach me what's going on because I can't do that <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't. What you think, Joy? Gotcha. 
I don't believe in none of that. Like, I don't believe in situationships. Like, I don't believe in that. Let's catch a vibe. Like, what the kids say now. Like, I don't believe it. Like, if we hanging now, if I'm, do you know how busy, like, motherfuckers are? Like, people are busy. Like, and that's that line. Like, I hate when people say, I'm busy. I'm busy too. Like, everybody busy. So, if I'm taking out time in my day to, like, kick it with you, we are moving towards a relationship. You know, that's probably why I'm single now. I'm single now because I settle for nothing less than moving towards a, a <laughs> situation. Um, my last relationship was an engagement. Like it was a real relationship. So I don't really believe in that. Like I can hang out with you, but I'm hanging out with you for like a goal. Like that's where I am in my life right now. Now, don't get me wrong. Like it was times when I was living in New York. Like if you even uttered the word girlfriend, girl, like I would be out. So it depends <laughs> on what season of life that you're in. Personally, for me, like I don't have time for that. Like I, I can go out. Like I can take my own self to Ruth's Chris. Like I don't need to finesse you to go where I need to go, and I can take myself there anyway. So. Yeah, for me, like I don't settle for anything less. Like we day, you gonna bring me flowers on the first day. Like we're gonna have a nice time. Like that's just me. Yeah, mm. being you going over here. Like I love it. I love it here. Like I love it over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Two, two. She too near home, but uh, all right. Let me. Go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm just, hey, I, I love the energy, Joy. No, no, no problems here. If you that unicorn, then let, we're gonna let you feel like you that unicorn. Feel like right, we well, you know, is, you got, she is that girl. She is that you got, girl. Uh, you gotta check. You gotta check the since you need. Re, you need at least five references. I got you know? some references. <laughs> All in my inbox. I, I send them. Nah, inboxes don't count. We need. They, no, their exes. Their exes. They're still in my inbox. So. Oh, okay, okay, nope. okay, okay. They no, no. The inboxes don't count. <laughs> I all got right, you though. But right. so, so for me to answer the question though, it's 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 you up. Yeah, so I think with the exclusivity, I 100 percent don't believe you can have exclusivity without feelings. I think for you to even ask for <laughs> exclusivity, it's because you got feelings. So like for somebody to even believe or feel, feel, or you know, I would use the right. word think instead of that, but feel that way is is con contradictory in my opinion. You feel me? So like there's no way, I don't think there's no way you would ask a person to literally just like, especially if you're in the dating sense, right? If you just dating, dating is literally called dating. Like people right now are trying to date exclusively. Like if you're dating exclusively, you're in a relationship. What's the, like, I don't understand why it's so, the, the lines right. have been blurred and there's so such gray area now. If we say we're dating exclusively, that used to be what a relationship was. That's that's how you say we're in a relationship. I like dating that exclusive. And I agree with you on something. I like <laughs> Yeah, nice. so like, you know what I mean? So don't act like you ain't agree with me already. Don't, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I tend to I tend to bring them on home with, like, towards, the, towards the ladder of the show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I think uh, you see it. You'll see we, we, we ain't all bullshit. You go agree. Nah, we're going to keep it 100. So like dating exclusively, exclusivity is, comes well along with, and I'm not saying you got to be in love like we talked about earlier or fall in form, but you see something that you like, there's that potential, and there's something that you want to be intentional about. You know what I mean? So right. like that, that, that's it. You know what I'm saying? When, so once exclusivity is even brought up, or if it's it's the case, you gotta have some type of care or feeling for. Them. Otherwise, you're probably close to a sociopath, and you just want control. You know what I'm talking about? Like real talk. Like, that's all it's about. That's and deep. Let's, let's, that's you feel me? That's deep. <laughs> I feel, yeah. I, I'm kind of surprised you said it, but I like it. Hold <laughs> on, oh, what you trying to say? <laughs> You hear these shots being fired? These, these just these just jokes. These just jokes. Boom, boom, boom. I'm trying to tell you, she got plenty of. No, but no, um, I agree with you on that standpoint, though. I really do agree with you when you say like people want control if, in that standpoint. You're just trying to control me if you feel like you want exclusivity, and this comes from both sides, like from the nigga side. In the fuck nigga stage, right? You still out here doing the same, doing out here fucking off, right? Like at that point, like I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> at that, if I'm not in, like if like mm -hmm. saying it to you, like me, doesn't say that's fuck nigga stage. If fuck nigga stage, yeah, I say that shit, of course. 
Of course, I'm gonna be like, yeah, we together in a relationship, knowing I'm still out here dealing with like all these other chicks. But like in an older age, like, no, I'm trying to go to a goal and shit. I'm not gonna do that then and be like, yo, we're gonna be exclusive, blah, 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 blah. And I'm still out here doing this fuck shit. Cause then I'm just trying to control you, make sure that you ain't trying to fuck nobody else, make sure you ain't doing all this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know what? Honestly, you know what? What to be doing? <laughs> but so, so one thing I'm gonna add, add to that because you just brought it up, Jesus. I think women lie about sex more than men. As clarify. far as like when, and I, I'm, I'm I'm about to clarify Facts. in in the dating stage. Okay. Women women get dick whenever they want. Dick is dick is on call, is on demand whenever they want. When the lady wants, all she gotta do is go to the inbox and she might not want that dick, but you know what I'm saying? Like it can be had. On call it's dick. Like, on call, it can be yes, exactly. It can be had whenever she wants. So therefore, when when I, I and don't get me wrong, there's women out here who really are being celibate at a certain time or whatever the case may be. I get that, but chances are when you want that scratch itch or that itch scratch i'm sorry you're gonna get that motherfucking scratch you feel me so like you might be dating but you got dick you know what i'm talking about and women like to lie about that a lot of the time you know what i'm talking about and they lie about that very often mm-hmm. especially in the early days like, like, and it's oh, like, and like, i'm all alone i have it's no always been i can cuddle it's, with right yeah, but i don't like, know what like, to do <laughs> You when saying a nigga the, all up in you your said, DMs, they, like saying everything to you. We talking mm-hmm. about the dating stages, right? The dating Cor- stages. Well, all you, well, all you honesty in the dating stage. We supposed what? to have you supposed to be honest. Dating honest stage. Hold on, you just said we don't owe you honesty in the day. Did you just say that's the, <laughs> that got to be the name of this show because that's bullshit. I mean, we that's don't. Bullshit. Like all right, when you when you meet somebody, when you meet somebody, like when y'all first start dating, you mean they representative. Like I know you know that. Right like, I know you know that. Like you're meeting their representative. You're not meeting That's the facts. Real... I agree That's with facts. what you're saying. So but when I don't you're think you're supposed to be rep- lying. You can't like just think about like people that usher you into like a company. Like they gonna lie to you. This company is wonderful. Like that's all. Right. And then you start learning a real about that company. Like as you start working there. Like that's the thing with dating. Like you're meeting that person's representative. Like their life did not start when they met you. I know, so, but I I disagree with it completely though. So I agree with what you're saying. I just think it's BS because I think first and foremost, why do people want honesty later on if you started to shit off with a lie? No, I don't think lies. I don't think it's I don't think it's divulging information that you haven't asked for. Like if you ask, like, hey, you mess with somebody with somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm specifically talking about if I ask. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, a woman will allude to that. Like, we'll allude to that. Allude to what? <laughs> yeah, be, why you be leave? specific. Why you leave? <laughs> be specific because you try to leave it up with these pronouns. Yeah, I'm like leaving what? it. I'm like leaving it in the air. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. allude to I what? Catch it. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we 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 allude to it in so many words, you know. But yeah, in the beginning stage, no, what, we what not the, What's the it? I don't we know what the it you talking about. You. That we may have a, a a different like type of arrangement coming through like later on. Like when we get off well, back, we got a different arrangement going on. See, that's that's bogus as hell. But you gotta do when a dude do that. Way, that person is on their way out though. Like if y'all talking about being in a relationship, they on their way out. Why you worried nah, about that? Nah, 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 they on their way, they on their way nah. into it. And they on their way into limbo until you figure out if you actually like them. Because if the dick not good, he gonna stay on the team. Because you might just like him, but the dick ain't good as the one you got already. So now he got up, he got a, his position ain't completely gone yet. He need to meet his, he need to meet at least meet the same amount of good uh, pleasure or be better. Let's uh, let's be real now. Come on now. No, let, let's be real now. I, I think we worried about the wrong things here. Like, you know, <laughs> when, you, you, when you're trying to get to know somebody, you trying, <laughs> you trying to get to know that person, though. Like, y'all worry about other folks. Like, the, am I No, right? no, 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 no. Don't, don't twist it. Our first meeting somebody, you cannot expect for their life to, like, begin with you. Agreed. Like, I agree. Ooh, of course. No, 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 no. So you you twisting it now. I ain't say I agree with what you just said. That's I, that's complete facts. But let's be honest about. So yep, me, I I'm honest. Too. If a mama could be like, "Are you fucking anyone right now?" Yes, there's a there's pussy I could call if I want to get some pussy. I'm gonna keep it G. You feel me? 
Like, mm-hmm. why do women, why women can't, I ain't say like yeah. when the last time you fuck, which people ask that question, that's stupid to me. I don't think you should, should be asking when the last time you fuck. Do you got dick yeah. on the side or not? Nah, that's cool because exactly. if we going towards that, that, just, that just lets me know because especially women believe in soul ties. I personally don't, but I, a lot of people do. But so therefore you had that aspect of it. If I do. you do believe it, you know, exactly. Because we had that conversation on the, on the show before. So therefore, if you got people that believe in mm-hmm. it, that, that's a question that's relevant. What if this nigga dicking you down, taking your soul every night, and you talking to me and telling me that you're so interested in me and you want me to bring you flowers in? You know what I mean? Oh, London, flowers. London, you bring. I knew it. I knew you was going to bring me flowers, London. I am not a flower guy. Sorry. But. Uh, I am. I'm a flower guy. I'm definitely. Damn, am. I'm a flower I'm, guy. Eventually. Bro, it's just not, it's just not a habit. You got to get me to the right. point London to bring flowers, though. I ain't going to do it off the rip. <laughs> Lundy, you lying. You probably got flowers. I ain't doing it off the flowers. rip. It's going to be a while. No, no, no. I ain't saying I won't do it. I just ain't, it ain't a hit for me. It ain't something that I'm going to go to. Well, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like this whole idea of like, <laughs> oh, they got to prove they worth before I do this. Like, it ain't about the woman's worth. It's about who uh, you are. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, agree. But I, it ain't even no worth for me. Like, I know he just said that. It ain't even there for me. It's more about becoming habit. I, it just ain't a habit for me. Like, I, I literally would... I, I'm a bad, I'm taking, I'm very technical to a fault almost. And uh, for that being said, like me, you would have to let me, I, I have to figure out your love languages and then I'll start right. trying to cater to them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It, ain't, yeah. it ain't gonna be nothing that just, like I ain't, I ain't showing them to no dates with no flowers. I, yeah, it just, <laughs> yeah, it ain't happening. Aww. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not doing that either. Uh, yeah. uh, well, 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 let me rephrase that. I, I, sure I have showed up to thank you. I mean, are they out there? Like, I'm trying to look. Uh, they I, definitely I, exist. Let me they finish. Exist. Let Go me ahead. finish. <laughs> I showed up to a date with a wine before because in conversation that we had was like, oh, I, I like this type of wine. And now, so I'm like, all right, cool. On the first day, I come with a little bottle. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, this is for you. This is a wine that I like. Blah, blah, blah. I never showed up with flowers before. I ain't never did no shit like that because that I ain't no simp nigga like that. That ain't me. I ain't going to be doing that shit. Oh, uh, bro. I went. Uh, I went, I went but I, I you are not a simp if you show up with flowers. I just want to put I, a I, PSA out there. Okay. All right, I actually all right, agree all right, with Joey. I, I, I do not minute. believe you a okay, simp, right, but I do right. believe that all right, all right, all right. a lot of women don't appreciate it. Keep going. Okay. Okay. Agree. Agree. Now, if the conversation arrives that like if we before we went on a date and we talking blah blah blah, and she mentions like yo, I really like flowers, blah blah blah, you know it'd be real nice if I have it a bad day. Then I might do it. Then I like, all right, yeah. cool. Then on our first day, be like yo, but I'm doing it from a lighthearted standpoint. But I'm not just gonna do it if we never had the conversation standpoint. That's kind of where I'm coming with it. Like we ain't never had the conversation, and you expect me to show up with flowers, and I don't. That's not happening. I'm not. That's not my. Thing. Like London was saying, I'm not. That's not my go-to or whatever. It's probably based on conversation. Now, once again, I ain't afraid of letting the check go. You know what I'm saying? I, I pay attention to shit. You know, I buy air fryer. Remember, I said all the time, you get air fryer, you get air fryer, you get air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> Pass them bitches out like Oprah. Hey, that boy, that might gonna be, that might gonna be called red-handed with his side bitch. We got the same air fryers. I knew this nigga. <laughs> Was not paying attention. He just do this shit. <laughs> he just do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, air fryer. You know, start talking about, about air fryer. It's like, damn, you, ain't, you don't got an air fryer? I'm going to get you one. I got it. Don't worry about it. I'm sending it to you. Be here in two days. It's Amazon Prime. I'm the same perfume. Oh, yeah. See, y'all. See, I'm, a, I'm an old player, man. We know how to do it. I don't, I don't even get... You, if you get perfume, that means you get the air fry. If you get the air fry, that means you get, you know what I'm talking about, a, a Groupon or something. You know what I'm talking about? We, a spa date. Or you know what I'm talking about? We switch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? We <laughs> I'm crying over here, you know? <laughs> I'm 
a Groupon. Groupon. Oh, oh shit. What else? People still use Groupons. They're still active. Sex. You better believe it. People I still coupon. I, huh? I know you know. Oh. <laughs> better believe it. People use Groupons for whole trips. Oh, I'm bad. Everybody, everybody I'm bad, in Puerto man. Rico ain't there on, on the strength. I, I mean, I, I use <laughs> Yes. <laughs> So, I, I, I'm I, 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 oh, I'm frugal. Damn right, shit. I'm, I'm hey, I'm especially if frugal. I know you like doing something fun. <laughs> oh, man, I'm if I know you frugal. like doing Y'all something fun, I'll be like, let me go to Groupon and see what kind of deal they got at Dave and Buster's. We about to I, go to Dave and Buster's. We got a $20 actually, deal over in this bitch. Yeah, you want to go to Dave and Buster's? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. But uh, yeah, I think we uh, we getting over here to the t- Boy, that boy snorting. Look. <laughs> I know you got him like dying. Hey, you feel me? I just keep it all the way. I just, I just keep it all the way. Gee, but uh, I think we, I think we wind it down, and uh, we gonna get ready to wrap this episode up, though. And I really do appreciate yeah. Joy coming on, and uh, even going through the technical difficulties and things. Oh yeah, we have Joy you back. She coming yes, back too. Most there. She brought that smoke. Yeah, yes. even though she might have been BSing she a little bit, smoke. you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I ain't doing shit now. One time, oh, you feel me? Oh, man. G, y'all on that? <laughs> we keep that same oh, way, man. man. You feel me? Boy, you stupid. Bye. Oh, man, yes. I wish I wish I ain't had these technical difficulties. So, anyway, before we sign out, uh, Joy, we always let our guests leave with a final word to give the people out here. It could be anything. Anything you want to tell the people. Joy, the floor is yours. What you want to tell? You want to promote some? You want to tell, give wise words? What is it? Yeah, I mean, it's still Black History Month. And I just want folks to learn more about Black history. Not like the typical facts that you learn in school. We all know about Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. They were good people. But learn something, y'all. Like, it's so many good things out there about Black <coughs> history. We did a lot. So that's my challenge. My challenge to the you audience. Know what? To, to learn something about Black history. For real. And I'll be 100. I always, every Black I'm History with, Month, and I'm I probably should that. do it more. But I always look up female inventors, innovators. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Mm. Well, every every year in February, I just make you know it a, a, and, a and conscious I, thing to do so. <clears throat> and you know what? I realized this when I was out in LA talking with uh my best friend and stuff, because I have a tattoo on my arm that says I am and stuff. And it's like the signs that said I am a man, right? And she asked me and, and her and her friends, they were like, yo, what is that? Why you got so many? Like look like signs on your arm that says "I am." I said, "Y'all don't know what that's from." Like exactly. you, you don't know what that's from. Exactly. And they were like, "No." I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa!" You wasn't taught this, and now I start thinking about. It. I like, well, maybe because we grew up in Memphis, Civil Rights Museum is like that's the thing that like that was the field trip for us growing up, right? They were like, right. "No, I don't have a clue." I said, "You don't know why Martin Luther King was in Memphis?" They were like, "No, actually, we I don't I don't know why he was in Memphis." I said, "What?" I, my mind was blown about this shit. I was like, yo, y'all really don't know? They were like, no, nah, I had to literally do a quick Black History Month uh, 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 education section segment with them. I'm like, all right, let's look this shit up real fast. Look, look, this is where it's from. This is why I have these tattoos that says that because I'm from Memphis, but the tattoo really said I am a man or whatever. That's what that's what, what, the, what it's from. It's from there because of sanitation work. Blah, blah, blah. It was just blew my mind like, yo, People are taught different things in different places and shit. Like they don't really know black history. They just know, like you just said, Joy, who who, who they are. But they don't really know the impact of what they did, like exactly why they did what they did. And I was like, damn, I ain't never thought about that shit. Right, right, mm-hmm. right. That's dope. That's dope. Yes, yes. Well, we do appreciate your yeah. final words, and we just gonna end the show like we always do. We appreciate all the people that are subscribed that follow us. Uh, please keep keep continuing to support the page, Toxic and Fertile Podcast. Like, share, subscribe, comment, engage. Also, we, as you can see, we have another lovely lady that has been a guest on the show. If you would love to be on the show, please inbox the Instagram page, 
and or either one of our Facebook pages or the Facebook page itself. Please, we want more guests on. I think we do have another yes. couple of guests lined up for the next couple of weeks. And uh, this has yep. been an excellent show yep, once yep. again. Y'all see what happens when we get a guest on. Yes. It's all smoke. It's all, yes. it's all fun. And it's a great dialogue. Uh, we appreciate y'all once time. again. And uh, yeah, uh, yes, I don't yes, know if yes. you got anything else. And uh, say, say the famous yeah, line, we famous words. Yeah, man. <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, um, some of the shit you might hear on this podcast is true. Some of it might not be true. But as that is for you to decide. And we are out of here. Appreciate, appreciate the love, y'all. We'll see y'all next week. Yep. <laughs> For sure.